Secretary Governor Okotho Badok will face another murder charge over the death of Shalon Otieno's unborn baby. Obado will spend a fifth night in custody pending a ruling on his application for bail on Thursday. Hassan Mugambi followed today's court proceedings. The air of confidence as Governor Okoth Obado walked out of court, masking the fact that he was headed for another two nights at the industrial area remand prison. Obado remaining in custody as High Court Judge Jesse Lesit considers his application for bail and the prosecution's objections. Earlier in court, the prosecution hinted that the single count of murder facing the county chief would be amended to include the murder of Sharon Otieno's unborn baby. Family. Prosecutor Alexander Muteti revealed this as Obado's lawyer and former High Court Judge Nicholas Ombija challenged the inclusion of the unborn baby. <coughs> we are not only talking about Sharon, but also an unborn baby who is protected under Article 26, sub Article 2, because life begins at conception. Obado also objecting Prosecutor Jacob Ondari's plea to the court to deny him bail. Every Tom, Dick and Harry knows the influence and stature of the accused before court. They need to show you further how his influence then is going to affect this case and that his being inside shall cure it. Ombija claiming that his client has been tried in the court of public opinion. We urge your leadership in considering this application to discount the innuendos, the rumors, the half-truths, the falsehoods that have been peddled by the media. Lawyers representing Sharon's family, including legislator Peter Kaluma, stated that releasing Obado could endanger the lives of the family members who claim to have already been threatened. 27 at 2 o'clock you come for your ruling. With two more nights for Obado to spend at the industrial area remand prison here in Nairobi, the prosecution has hinted that it could add another count of murder given that Sharon was seven months pregnant during her murder. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.